When you think of strong pals in Pal World, I'm sure for many that one of the first pals that comes to mind is Jet Dragon. Even with the updates where we've gotten many new strong pals, Jet Dragon is still arguably one of the best pals in the game. So with them being such a powerful pal, I wanted to show you all how to upgrade them. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Speaker Ed, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Jet Dragon. But before we get into this guide, just a friendly reminder that if you enjoy any of the music you hear during this video or just want to support the channel in general, it's all part of my DMCA free music label, Speaker Ed Studios. All the music on this label is completely DMCA free, so go ahead and use any of these songs for your content creating needs. We currently have over 70 songs available with more added frequently, so if you're interested in checking any of that out, all the links will be in the description below. With that all said and done, let's get into the guide. To start things off, a quick shout out to the individual who asked in the comments of one of my previous videos for this upgrade guide to be made. So before we can start upgrading Jet Dragon, we need to go over some of the basics of them first. Jet Dragon is a pure dragon type pal that can only be found as a boss at level 55 on the far west side of the volcano. Talking about Jet Dragon's partner ability, once you've unlocked their saddle at level 50, you'll be able to use Jet Dragon as a flying mount along with being able to rapidly fire missiles from their back while mounted. It should also be noted that Jet Dragon is by far the fastest mount in the game. Here's a quick clip of me zipping around with my Jet Dragon that I upgraded to be as fast as possible with these passive skills just to show how insanely fast this guy can be. Also I'm putting this here because I don't plan on making a video on how to make a fast Jet Dragon so you get an extra mini guide snuck into this video as well. Moving on to their exclusive moves, Jet Dragon has a single exclusive move being Beam Comet. Talking about passive skills quick, Jet Dragon is the only pal in the game that's able to naturally obtain the passive skill Divine Dragon, which gives a 20% boost to all dragon type moves. Finally, as for their base skills, Jet Dragon is only going to be a level 3 in gathering, so besides being pretty good at one job, they're not going to be the best pal to be using at your base. That being said, I don't think most people are trying to catch a dragon to be their main gardening pal. So with the basics of Jet Dragon out of the way, let's actually start getting into upgrading them. Now the first thing you want to do to upgrade Jet Dragon is to breed them for good passive skills. There's a few pretty good passive skill combinations you can do with Jet Dragon, the speed combination I mentioned earlier being a great example of one of them, but for combat purposes the passive skills I chose to go with were Legend, Musclehead, Ferocious, and Serenity. With this combination of passive skills Jet Dragon will gain an 80% attack boost, a 20% defense boost, a 30% cooldown to active skills, and because it's relevant to mention for once they'll also gain a 10% boost in movement speed thanks to Legend. You could swap out a couple of these passive skills for some other useful skills such as Divine Dragon or Burly Body. However, for the sake of this video, these are the skills I decided to go with. But once you breed a Jet Dragon with the passive skill combination you prefer, the next step to upgrading them is going to be in a PAL Condenser. By upgrading any PAL in a Condenser, their partner's skills will be upgraded along with their general stats. Something else to know is that once a PAL is fully upgraded in a PAL Condenser, all of their base skills will level up by one which is pretty helpful. With a total of 117 pals, they can be upgraded 4 times with level 1 needing 4 pals, level 2 needing 16 pals, level 3 needing 32 pals, and level 4 needing 64 pals. But assuming you have a few jet dragons to spare from our previous step, then you should have enough pals to upgrade your jet dragon at least a couple times in a condenser. But once you've finished upgrading your jet dragon in a condenser, the next step to upgrading your pals is by hitting that like and subscribe button to help support the channel along with giving you and your pal a 10% boost in being awesome. But the actual next step to upgrading your Jet Dragon is by upgrading them in a Statue of Power. With a total of 30 small PAL souls, 18 medium PAL souls, and 18 large PAL souls, you can give any PAL a 30% boost in attack, defense, and health. Also if you need help getting PAL souls, here's all the PALs in the game that drop PAL souls of all 3 sizes. But moving on now, the next step to upgrading Jet Dragon is by feeding them PAL fruits. By using ability glasses unlocked at level 34, you can see the hidden stats of any pal in the game which are the stats that pal fruits upgrade. But what you want to do is feed your jet dragon each of these types of pal fruits until all three of those numbers are at 100. Also a tip for getting dog coins to buy pal fruits from a metal merchant is to use a catrice during battle. While fighting together neutral pals will drop more items when defeated which works on mimogs and dog coins. But once you've upgraded your pal with pal fruits, this is technically the strongest you can make your pal. However, there's still one temporary upgrade you can do to your Jet Dragon, and that's by feeding them food. Depending on what food you or your pal eats, they can give you a wide variety of benefits such as attack boosts, defense boosts, work speed boosts, along with many others. For combat purposes, I use these two foods on screen right now. However, I highly recommend looking through all the different foods in the game to see which ones might work best for your needs. 
Now normally I would mention that one final way you could temporarily upgrade your pals by using another pals partner ability to boost their stats. However as far as I'm aware there are currently no pals in the game that boost the attack of dragon type pals. I personally find it a bit strange especially since there are pals to boost every other type of pal in the game. That being said I'm sure they will eventually add a pal that'll enhance the attack power of dragon type pals. With that being said after giving your pal a buff with food this is the final upgrade you can do to your jet dragon at this time. If you were to upgrade your jet dragon exactly the way I did, your pal should have similar stats to these on screen depending on what food you gave your pal. But besides just telling you how strong this pal is, we're going to have him go up against Victor and Shadow Beat to see how strong he really is. And for those who are curious, these are the active skills jet dragon will be using during this fight. But without further ado, let's get into the battle. Alright jet dragon, your time to shine buddy. Big damage, big damage. Huge. Got that fire burn right now. He just like doesn't know what to do at the moment. There you go. Get him. Ooh, he didn't get frozen. That's good. He's taking a bit of damage right now, but so far he's putting on a lot more damage to Shadow Beak. Ooh, yikes. That's no good, buddy. Big hits, big hits. Here, let's pull you back so we can get him out of the corner. Yeah, burn, buddy. Alright, Jet Dragon, get back out there, buddy. I just jumped over my own Jet Dragon's attack. Whoopsies. That Beam Comet does so much damage. I keep jumping over his uh, comet just because of force of habit from fighting Saline all the time. That beam slicer just does so much damage. He's just like pushing him around. He's not even like fighting him. I gotta move him out of the corner again. He's just like stuck. Half my shots from my dead dragon are getting hit on the pole. Come here, Mr. Shadowbeak. I'm right here. It's not fair. How come your attacks have to go through the pole, but mine can't? Come here. Look, I'm all the way over here. There we go. Problem is, Jet Dragon's already just so fast, and then with the Legend, he's even faster, so he's just zipping around. All right, I think I have a fitting way to finish this. Missiles! Yeah, victory! Woo! And with that battle concluded, I hope this shows just how powerful you can really make Jet Dragon. But that's gonna wrap up my guide on how to upgrade Jet Dragon. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you found this guide helpful, and also let me know what pals you'd like to see me upgrade next. Also, once again, if you want to support the channel, you can check out my DMCA free music label in the links in the description below. But that's all I have to say for now, so thank you so much for watching. I'll catch all y'all in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.